YouTube. We're back to Ark Survival Evolved. <gasps> so we're back to Ark Survival Evolved because my coworkers at work decided to start a private server where we all started playing. Um, the rates are pretty low, so don't judge the wooden walls and the little small metal base. It's close to official, actually, but we, uh, we won't talk about that. So I thought I'd record an Ark video today to kind of bring back the original videos of the uh of the channel so what i want to talk about today in arc is an efficient base design that i created with some friends back in the day that i never really got to show you guys and it's a three by three base that's capable of pretty much doing everything so ignore these foundations here these are just kind of like protecting the base and those ceilings also are part of the bird pen that is added on top the base is this three by three spot here so we open the door we come in okay so it's three by three one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So three by three base. And the way it, the design is supposed to work, now granted there's a lot of new mods now, so it, it changes a lot of the style of fitting stuff, but the way it works is you line the bottom with forges. So you line this entire area with forges all the way around the back, all the way around the side, all the way, except for you would leave one space behind this ladder for your generator, which would go right here. Uh, and then this hole in the middle is specifically here so that you can not only reach the tables without having to climb up, but you can reach these forges and then move the metal to the tables. So you have your smithy, you have the S plus crafting station, which is just a mod that we are using, and then you have your fabricator up here. So the only difference is you have to have that little elevated ceiling so the fabricator is protected. But I can access all three of these things right here from the bottom floor. And then what you can do is you can just kind of do uh, the, um, what are these guys called? Mortars and pestles kind of along the sides as you need them. Uh, granted, a lot of you guys will probably use the grinder. You could use the grinder and put it right here as, a, as the fourth spot, but this is the climb up, right? So what else you can do, and this is the second part of the build, which I have not done yet, is you can actually add a, um, a vault on top of the building. So if you come up here, where this room is now, this is where I have my bird pen just for this server. It's kind of where I'm storing the birds. You would normally, okay, so here's where the fabricator is. That is all added, so just pretend that's not there, okay? So here, on this 4x4 four four square, you would add a vault, right? And then what you would do is one of these ceilings, you would make a hatch frame door, and you'd be able to access the vault through the hole. So the vault would be right here. You would access it. So let's say it's right here. So I can access, the, actually the best place would probably be like right here. I could access the vault and the tables at the same time, right? So I can take the resources off this, put it up into the vault. Take the resources off this, put it up into the vault. And the point is you want to be able to move around the base as little as possible, but still be able to ac access everything. The reason we designed this base is for metal farming. When we used to have a base on top of a mountain where you farmed a ton of metal, we would made this very small three by three base that didn't take up a lot of space because obviously the more base you have, the more you have to protect, right? So you would design this base that has forges all around to farm metal, which you could then put on your smithy or you know put up into your vault however you wanted to do it. And you could even craft your electronics and stuff with the other resources that you're getting from flint and spark powder or flint and stone, which can make your spark powder. So that's the three by three metal farming base that we designed a while back. And I started to redesign it again up here on our on our Bronto because I wanted to have like a mobile farming base slash whatever and so you can see here same design it's a three by three I'm not done with it yet too high and then you put the you put the vault on top and then what's cool is again ignore this little box off to the side you can actually just put turrets on each corner of you know the the base here and it's pretty much protected right you put uh, one turret on each side on each corner so that's all four corners and then you can even put a couple on the floor around it and you're pretty much protected it's a really cool little uh, farming base it's not you know obviously a main base for me it's a main base because I'm able to produce everything uh, that I need all in this one base without having to move maneuver around I used to build big bases but on a small low rate server like this it's easier to just build a very functional small design where you're able to access everything uh, but still have room to kind of move around so by the way this whole S plus um, mod is pretty amazing because you can like pull resources so for instance, I can like find stone somewhere. I don't have any stone. Let's find somewhere that has 
Okay, good example. So I'm cooking metal in here, right? I'm about to log off of Ark. That's why it's all in one forge. Normally, I'd split it up between all the forges, but since I'm going to be gone for about eight hours, it'll all cook by the time I'm back. So let's say I wanted to pull metal here. I can literally just click pool, go to metal ingot, and there it is, forge one. Select all, pool, and voila, the metal came to the smithy. That makes this design even better because now I don't have to move. I can just literally access my little table, pull whatever I need to pull to it, and voila. Access my little thing, pull whatever I need to pull to it, voila. And I also have this gun, which allows me to shoot any object that has an inventory and pull to it. So like this campfire, if I access the inventory, there's no pull button down here. But if I shoot it, eh, 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 come on, it's a little buggy. Doesn't always work, see? Now let's say I wanna, you know, pull a little bit of wood. So let's say we're gonna pull like, you know, a little bit of wood right here. Let's just pull like 16 wood, done. Oh, I meant to do this. Then we can come down here, we can go to the, the meat, raw meat somewhere, right here, right? And let's just pull six meat to make it an even number. Done, light the fire, voila, we're cooking some meat, getting some food going, right? Which I also don't need, because I'll be logging off in just a second and it'll all be spoiling. Same thing works here. All the spoiled meat, you know how quickly meat spoils when it's on the dinos and stuff, so you just come down here, spoiled meat, there's no spoiled meat anywhere? That doesn't sound right. Hold up. There's no spoiled meat on you. Yeah, there is. What the heck? It's broken, boys. It's broken. Let's try this really quick. Show pool range. Oh, wow. It ain't, it ain't reaching. Wait, did it change? Did the patch change it? Okay, so legitimately... This was in the pool range, like, an hour ago. I'm not even kidding. An hour ago, this was in the pool range. I could pull all the spoiled meat to that to that mortar and pestle, and now I can't. GG, boys. I was going to show you something cool. Now it doesn't work. Anyways, you can still pull stuff, which is really cool. So I want to show you guys that as well. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of my little 3x3 base that I designed for metal farming. I'm sure there's probably way better designs now. Considering I haven't played Ark in uh, uh, like five months, four months, something like that. So I'm sure there's a, a lot of designs that I don't know about. Feel free to let me know what those designs are in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to like the video. Helps support me, uh, all that good stuff. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more daily videos from me. I think we'll probably be, br be bringing Ark back a little bit here in the future. Oh yeah, the S plus doors, look, they automatically close. You see that? You can change it to auto open close, so I can like, do this. Whee! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's really cool, too. But anyways, we'll probably bring Ark back a little bit because uh, we're playing with the co-workers now and stuff, so we'll be on the server for a little while until everyone gets tired of it. So let me know what you guys think. Comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. And of course, thanks so much again for all the support you guys show me on a regular basis, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out. Bye.